P, Q, and R are subsets of the inverse asset. The inverse asset is X greater than 2 and X less than 18. The set P, X, such that X is greater than 4 and X is less than or equal to 14. Set Q, X such that X is greater than or equal to 4 and X is less than 12. The set R is X such that we have the list of elements in the set R. So be 3, 9, 12 and 15. We have to find P intersection bracket open Q union R or prime. That is the complement of the union of Q and R. The first thing that we have to do with this question is to list all the elements in the inverse R set, the set P, the set Q, and then the set R, before we can go ahead and tackle the question itself. Now, if this is your first time of reaching the channel, click on the subscription button and also press on the notification bell to be notified anytime we upload new videos. Let's list the elements in the inverse R set first. We have x greater than 2. So 3 is greater than 2. And then x should be less than what? 18. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. X is less than 18, so 17, we end there. Good. Then we come to the set P. The set P, we have X greater than 4. We have 5, so 5 is greater than what? Than 4. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we're saying that x is less than or equal to 14. So the last element in there is 14. Then we move to q. x is greater than or equal to 4. So we're starting from 4. X is less than 12. So 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11 because 11 is less than 12. So those are the elements for Q. And the last one, R. R is already given. Okay. So we list them down nicely. We have 3, 9, 12. And then 15. With the question, we would have to first start with the bracket. The bracket contains the union of Q and R. Union means we're putting the two sets together. So if a particular number appears in both sets, we write it once. Okay, so we look at Q and R. We have 3, which is starting. 4, I come to 5, 6, we have 7, 8, 9, 9 is in both sets, so we write it once, come to 10, we have 11, 12, and then 15, so that completes the set for the union of Q and R, then we find its complement. The complement means we comparing the sets in here, which is Q union R with the inverse R sets. And any element in the inverse R sets, which is not found in the union of Q and R will form its complement. So Q union R complement or prime. Comparing it to the inverse R sets. 
ya three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen is in the inversal set not found in the union 14 is also there then we're looking at 16 then the last one is 17 good so that one is also complete the last part is to bring in the intersection okay the last part is to bring in the intersection so we're looking at p intersection q union r complement and what is that giving us let's go back to the set what the set p now we compare the set p to the complement of q union r and we're looking for the common elements in both sets with the set p we have 13 which is appearing in both okay we have 13 so we put it down nicely 13 and let's look at it 14 is also appearing so we have 14 appearing in both sides that's completing the set why because we don't have 16 in p we don't have 17 also in p so that completes the sets of elements for p intersection q union r complements